Well, hello, this is Alex of Pacific Northwest Bible Journaling, and I am here on my own YouTube channel today with the Creative Retreat Unboxing. You have not seen me here in a while as I have been over on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel um, doing all kinds of un um, to process videos and all kinds of other things. So, But I am here today. I'm super excited to be sharing with you the January Faith Art Box Danielle has put out. It is phenomenal. It is called the Upside Down Kingdom. And I get to unbox it with you here today, but I will start by telling you that this devotional is fabulous. It is well-timed, all about how the first shall be last, the last shall be first, and that Christ's kingdom is upside down compared to what the world provides. Um, it is very traditional in its format. This is what you can expect each month from Creative Retreat a two-page spread on devotional and reflection questions. And then at the top here on the left, it provides one, two, three, four, five scripture verses where you can dig deeper. There's an additional one or two laced into the devotional, which is great because it gives you an idea of where to start, where to dive in, and that can even lead you other places. So this, this particular uh, devotional is written by Rebecca Fairs. Um, and they are, uh, her and her husband Caleb write and illustrate books together, um, specifically about exploring the national parks with children. Um, so this is a beautiful testimony to her heart. I love the challenging questions she asks. These particular reflection questions are very specific. They walk you through a really beautiful process of talking about how God's kingdom and his values are countercultural. Um, that is an awesome thing. On the back, there's always a, a pattern paper. So you could color copy this. You could scan it so you have it um, for other purposes. I just actually oftentimes punch tabs right out of this. When I'm done, I might use space here on the edges where there's no other words. Or sometimes I, it doesn't bother me that some of the font comes through. I cover it up with other things. Um, but this is just a beautiful pattern paper. Um, I love these white branches and then these ones that are kind of the negative space of that. Um, it's really, really lovely, and it's nice because it's a card stocky, so if you use it for tabs or something, it's there. Little note from Creative Retreat. These bow clips are so fun. They are sturdy, made of kind of a heavyweight cotton, and this clip really, a little bit of washi tape will hold them in place, and they just make such a fun pop of color and texture on your page. There's a four by six stamp set here on um, this banner. I love the words that um, Danielle chose this time, kingdom, Jesus, citizen, first, last, and countercultural. You see on the first pad of stickers that it shows you, gives you some ideas of things you can do. So this little heart stamped onto the flag, put on the flag pole, mimics this sticker. So you really end up being able to recreate a lot of your favorite parts or to, to be able to use multiple mediums, stamp something in ink or paint and then do add stickers to the page. They're really lovely. Um, it has word fetty here at the top. Great for expressing full sentence sentiments or actually as titles. I love this one upside down. So one stamp or one sticker there. A lot of fun florals. I love here in the Pacific Northwest, we have had weeks of torrential downpour. We have a creek on our farm that is like overflowing, flooding our property. So this bit of sunshine this month is just delightful. They all come with, the last few kits at least, have come with this little fun pin. And I have been adding them to, pardon me as I grab it here, a bag that I keep my gelatos in. So I just add them there, kind of show me which ones I have completed as far as the kits from Creative Retreat. I've seen some fun, really fun things done with these where you tie a little bit of fabric onto a paper clip and then pin this in place, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of flexibility with it. I actually put one of them on my Christmas stocking to remind myself I collect pins on there of what I have done this year with Creative Retreat. And then we recently started getting two sheets of alphabet stickers in our kit. This month there are actually four different colors, which I just love. You end up with such variety. The pink and blue background ones, light blue, are a little bit larger font size than these green and coral. I love that because it gives you a variety. You can do mix and match or you can stay consistent. They are all capital letters this month. And that gives you 864 alphabet stickers. Um, one thing to note down here is this says 01, which is the month of January 21, which is the year. And then these, the last number is the sheet 
number. So this is sheet one, this is sheet two, and then the art elements are sheet three. That helps with wanting to, if you want to reorder, they do sell some, she does sell some of these a la carte. I started keeping all of the stickers by month on a ring, just punching this out, and that way I have them. Um, it's really easy to find what I'm looking for. So I hope that just even seeing what's in the kit this month inspires you. I want to remind you that Danielle is selling Faith Filled Digitals as a add-on. That's a three sheet downloadable file on um, creativeretreat.com. And you can find, this one has alphas, a, a printed paper. These are the journaling cards. This one says Jesus. First will be last, last will be first. And there's this cool arrow kind of saying it's upside down. It's opposite of what you think. I'm actually considering doing some journaling with that symbol in it. Um, some of the florals or the leaves with the label. This one is kind of neat because it has the white and then this kind of feels like a washi strip connecting it to the yellow polka dots. This one says words to live by and it has a little heart that is like the stamp set heart and this I think there's you no know, just in the stamp set here this little heart here um, and you find it's on the flag. And then here, words to live by, that's one I just said. It's a little like dotted lines on it. Kind of looks a little bit like notebook paper, which I have a, an affinity for. And then I love that the main art element page is very similar, not identical, but similar to the stickers because then you don't have to be afraid of using them up um, because you have things that you can replicate over and over. There are a few things that are different. Um, this one doesn't have this little heart sticker, but it has an additional flower, it has all of these leaves. It doesn't have the arrows, but they get, she gives you a couple of extra circles, including that one arrow one I mentioned before. So there's some really lovely, this washi strip, um, and then all of the word fetty at the top. This is great to print on clear sticker paper or even white sticker paper. Um, you can do the same thing here with the alphas, so then they become peel and stick alphas. So much versatility. Also, don't miss in the shop, there's always these Faithful Digitals that go with the kit for purchase, but she also has brought her freebies into the shop. So every month, um, Danielle had been posting on the Creative Retreat Insider Group on Facebook some free um, printables designed by Cece, and they're still available. They have just moved over to the shop. So if you grab the kit or this Faithful Digitals, you can also over at that same location, print the devotional that way. Maybe you um, shipping has been an issue for you, but you just want to grab the devotional and the printables. You can do that over in the shop. And then for free, add on an extra freebie, which has um, one black and white page and then one color page. And it's not seen here, so don't miss checking that out. I'll put all the links below, including some information about what um, stamp pad colors and other um, colors might go with the kit as coordinating colors. Um, and jump on over to the Creative Retreat YouTube channel to be sure to see what the entire design team will be doing with this kit in the month of January. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.